So if I look to the side, my dog's in here staring at me. But anyway, she looked back in the window. I'm back with another, I guess, I don't know, plus size series or, you know. Because, you know, well, y'all know. I ain't about, not about to get into a whole lot of detail. So this video is five tips on dating while plus size. Because your girl has, has dated a couple of guys. Not a lot. I can count on two hands how many guys I've been with and I've dated. And what I've learned over the years. Because um, there are different kinds of guys out there. Um, I've talked to a lot of different guys. I've never dated guys. Because you... Mm, because you can get some of them dudes that be hitting you up and, and you like a fetish to them. Like, ooh, I like a big girl. Like, it, like it's fetish. Like, they don't want to date you. They just, like, think of you as a fetish and they want to sleep with you. I've had a couple of those. I've had some guys like that, like, literally holler at me, hit me up. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I hate to say that I'm one of those people that on my date. Um, just because, I don't know, there's people where I live, one, I'm not their type, or two, I'm related to them, so, um, well, like, my particular type of guy, what I prefer to date. So, my number one tip for dating is, if you online date, Make sure, you know, they are legit. They are they are who they say they are. Um, and that they're wanting to date. Like, they really want to make something out of it. Or they want to talk to you and, you know, see where it actually goes with you. Not like, hey, you are a fetish to them. Like, who? I love them. I like big girls, thick girls, plus size females. And I just, you know, I want to talk to you just because, hey, you're a fetish to me. Gee, girl, there, here are some ways you can tell because they, they will always want to talk about. They will come up the very first thing, their very first, you know, conversation with you or what they ask you. Like I've had guys ask, so what's your favorite position? Like you just met me. Like you don't know how old I am. You don't know what I like. Know what I look like, cause I'm not those type that's gonna catfish somebody. What you see is what you get with me. Either you like it or you don't. Let's see. What's your favorite position? When's the last time you had you know relations? Um, or when was your last relationship? Or are you looking for friends with benefits? Like something to that nature, cause that's only like to me that sounds like somebody that just want to want a fetish and they want to just do you and that's it they want to do you on occasion no i'm not that type of girl i'm looking for a marriage i'm looking for something long term the period number two tip for plus size dating <sighs> if you are into skinny men Make sure they can handle all the, cause girl, you is, girl, we is, fun as I get out, come on now. Make sure they can handle all this, cause some guys can't handle it. And they run. And then you don't hear from them again, or if you do hear from them, they're like, you know what, you're not my type, you're fat, you're this, you're that. Cause at first you were, oh, you were drop dead gorgeous and pretty, but they can't handle it. Or if you tell them you're not looking for to have sex with just some random person, you're not looking for a random hookup. Because those guys are the type that'll be like, you're fat, you're this, you're that, you're ugly, no guy's going to want you, anything like that. Or, this is the kicker for me, why are you single? You're too pretty to be single. I'm single. I mean, because I had a guy say, you're too pretty to be single. Are you single because you're fat? No, I'm single because I want to be single. That 
my weight ain't got to do with why I'm single. What is you thinking? See, my number third, three tip. When you do find that guy that you know is like really wanting to get to know you for you, don't be scared. Don't let your past relationship, don't let what other guys have told you on, told you or anything. Because I'm, I used to be that type of, I let my past relationships dictate my current relationship. I always think I'm not good enough or I'm not going to be good enough or this person is going to leave me or they're just with me because, hey, they feel sorry for me or they're just with me because, hey, she's an easy person. Like, she's a big girl, so she's going to stay with me through whatever. Uh, negative. I used to be like that, so don't be like that. So for you girls out here that are watching this video, do not be like that. Know your worth. Okay? Know that. Know your worth. This is for any girl. This is not just for plus size females. This is for girls in general. Know your worth when it comes to this dating thing. And if you do decide to online date, take these tips. Like, know who you're talking to. If they don't want a video chat, no, no. Mm -mm, on to the next. If they have no photo, on to the next. Or if they have photos and it's just random photos of like memes and things like that, keep it moving. Keep it pushing. That's my number four tip. If they don't have a picture on their dating site, on their profile that you know is them, keep it, keep it moving. Oh, keep it moving. I've also found, no offense to white people, I love white people, no offense to white guys, um, I did at one point think maybe I should date outside my race, but I'm the type that I want black love. So, because that's what I've been raised around. My parents have been together 26 years. Um, They've been married 22, like... I want that kind of look. I want that kind of black look. So, but for me, I always, I get the cute black guys that'll be like, they'll hit me up. But then they'll be like, I, I feel like I'm a fetish to them. And so, like, I just keep it moving. But I've noticed, like, I've seen a lot of white guys, too, that would, that would hit me up. Like, I've deleted my online profile. Um, so, I no longer online date. Um, but there's a man I'm talking to you that I did happen to meet online. It was my Instagram crush. He knows who he is. He watches. How you doing? But, but you're cute or whatever. Um, but, you know, he makes me blush. But anyway, I'm taking baby steps with that. But I've noticed, like, why guys will hit me up. And I know it's a fetish thing with them. They'll tell me. These old, crusty white dudes be like... You're cute. Where are you from? You want to come hang out? I come get you. No, no. That's another thing. Back number five. Um, we not Netflix. No, Netflix and chill is not a date. No, net. No, net. Listen to me. Listen. Come closer. Netflix and chilling is not a date. Not a first date, not a date at all. Now, if y'all been together for some years now, then hey, that is a great date. For me, that it will be. But when you first get to know somebody, but who no. Because to me, I'm not going to say that's something that, that someone that's want to just hit it and quit it because they want to Netflix and chill. I'm not saying that's what all guys want to do. There are some guys out there that will, that will want to do that. You have to sniff them out. But don't know. Girl, Netflix and chilling is not a date. It's not a first date. It's not a second date. Y'all have to like actually be officially together, been together for some years for that to be an actual date. Girl. Like when with my ex, because me and him and I were together a year and a half, going two years. That was a date because we both, him and I both worked. Didn't have time, like we both worked second shift. Didn't get to really spend time together. 
like that. But when we did, like, we would just Netflix and chill. And I'm the type of female, I'm the type of girl that loves to play video games. I'm a comic book nerd. Don't ever get that shit. Like, your girl is a comic book nerd. And a football, like, sports fanatic. So, like, we would, I, I like to just, you know, sit and play video games after work. Or, you know, if we do go out, we can go to, you know, dinner and movie. That's a good date. Um, my ideal date is dinner and a movie. Um, but your ideal date is whatever you want it to be. So, to just a brief recap, because I don't want this video to go any longer than it is. Number one. Make sure you are talking to who you say they who they say they are. There is ways you can do that. I watch catfish. If you watch catfish, let me know. Comment below. You'll kiki about catfish because I'm so stuck on people still be out here getting catfish. So make sure number one, don't get catfish. Number two, make sure you're not a fetish to them. Make sure you're someone that they actually want to talk to and actually get to know and spend time with. Number three, know your worth, be confident, and be yourself. Don't let your past dictate your future. Number four, I never forgot what number four was. Y'all, I don't, look, this is what happens when you want to do this video, you don't, you should have wrote down what, but y'all know what I mean, like, number five, Netflix and chill is not a date, all right? Netflix and chill is not a date. Number, like, num back to number four, I think it was, oh, go through that profile, girl. And if you meet somebody out in public, hey, because you can get your Mr. Right at the mall, at church if you go to church. I mean, you can meet, you know, food line, you know. You can Mr. Right anywhere. Just, you know, peep his game out. Make sure, number four, make sure he's not married. Make sure he's not married. Or in a relationship. Don't do it. And if he was in a relationship, make sure him in that relationship is completely done and over with before you actually get into another role. And until you actually start talking to him and, and, and getting serious. Oh, so serious. Don't do it. But yeah, those are my top five tips on online, well, plus size dating, a little bit of online dating, just dating in general, make sure you know you're, you're talking to with a, like, you know, just don't do it. Um, thumbs up this video if you're, uh, thumbs up this video, subscribe if you are watching me for the very first time, you're really, I'm just your girl, Rachel. This is Rachel Social Life. Come join the Pretty Game family, handsome family, because I do got some male but male subscribers and share me with your family and friends and i will definitely see y'all guys in my next plus size video or wait whatever video i do next i'll see y'all in my next video stay pretty pretty gang i'm out bye